we're on the Edmonds Pier, fishing pier, and I've got a hydrophone, an underwater microphone, dangling down here like a fishing line. This is one of the areas the southern resident killer whales often visit when they come to Puget Sound. We have killer whales who are acoustic spe specialists living basically in the shipping lanes. Scott Beers is coordinator of Orca Sound's hydrophone network. The underwater acoustic monitoring system has shown just how noisy it is when the southern residents come here looking for food. Noise comes in lots of variety, small recreational boats, big cargo ships, and of course, the ferry system. And we can see the ferries leaving the dock now. The noise level is increasing, so now we're above 130 decibels. Now it's more than 133, so now we're at 136 decibels. Plus, they don't just contend with one boat at a time. It's sort of the lower frequency chugging of the distant ferry and then a higher buzz from this powerboat probably. Now add in a train. I automatically make my voice a little louder so that you can hear me over the train whistle. Just like us, the orcas have to talk louder too, which may cause stress. Sometimes it's so noisy they just give up looking for food. Their preferred prey, Chinook salmon, are decreasing in number and much harder to find than a few decades ago. And that's why quiet is so important. The easy thing to do to increase access to salmon is reduce noise. He says quieting that traffic will make a big difference. Once you start turning the propeller in a way that causes this thing called cavitation, Cavitation makes this really high frequency hissing sound. That's important for the killer whales because they're high frequency specialists and they click at frequencies that are well above what we can hear. Anything you can do to keep a propeller from cavitating will be helpful to the whales. Um, you're starting to hear the Kingston Ferry coming in. For Veers, all the other problems are still important to fix, like salmon habitat recovery and reducing pollution. The good news about noise in the ocean is that if you remove the source you, or you quiet the source, the pollution goes away. Hi, I'm King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow. Check out our Saving the Orcas playlist for more videos like this one. Make sure to subscribe to the King 5 channel to get alerts when there's a new video published. What topic do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.